watching the Shay Show. Everybody getting their cargo all nice and juiced up really nice. Getting ready for the holiday, Memorial Day. Yeah. This is the Shay Show, guys. And this is the show like that I was um, made a video about. And although I have a lot of work to do, I mean, a ton of work. There's so much going on. It's, it's just it's not enough time in the day. You guys heard me saying, not enough time in the day. The last couple days, I've been trying to get my check out eight new properties that was purchased already. We need to see what they need done to them. And I am going to personally repeat get out Saturday morning and just do that. If I don't do nothing else, I'm going to do that. So we can get that rolling and see what we need to do. Wendell Farm has already given the uh, A OK to start to start, me, start the necessary rehab on his property where Poop Quisha was put out of there and they had the dog feces all over the place. Yeah, that place. And somebody was making a comment about the property being in that condition already before I rented it out. You know, I get a kick out of that stuff. I said, this, this must be new people who watch it. Watch it. Must be. Has to be. If anybody's been following me for any length of time, you'll see before, during, and after videos of a place that I put my hands on. So, no. The places do not look like that in that type of condition. And I'm only addressing this because I think it's important for people to know who watch these videos and think that maybe some of the uh, rehabs is like substandard and, and you get what you pay for type of thing. You know, let me let me say this. Because of the type of renters and that we have here and a breed of folks that rent sometime, it doesn't matter how much money you put into a place. If you rent to a, a place out to a person who's not used to living a certain way or living having something nice, they're not going to take care of it. I don't give a shit how much money you put into a place. If they don't know how to take care of something, they're not the company's doing it, it doesn't matter. Perfect example. Go, case in point, Dean Sagano, one of my earlier clients like five years ago, California, do uh, put up some of the videos there for Dean. So on my channel, on search, put Dean, D-E-A-N. And watch what I did with one of his properties on Santa Barbara. He wanted top of the line stuff in his house. I said, no, you shouldn't do that. These are rentals, and you shouldn't fix these places up as if you're going to live in them. Fix them up really nice and make them nice, better than the average landlord would do. But don't put, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into them. That's because people like they're not going to appreciate it. Because once again, you're going to get somebody who's not used to living a certain way, not used to having something nice, and they don't know how to take care of it as it is. Well, he wanted slate. Slate, slate is expensive on his porch. On his porch. I said, that's not a good idea. Yeah, it looked nice, but this is a rental property. I wouldn't do that. There was nothing wrong with the steps. Nothing wrong with the porch. It was, it didn't, it didn't even have to be torn down or nothing. I mean, nothing. But he wanted slate. He wanted his property to shine. Well, what eventually happened is after I stopped managing the place, personally myself, I rolled by there, the place just, just tore down. The port, the, the, the slate is all broke up and cracked. Hey, bro! The, the place is all, it's, it's, it's broke up, it's cracked up. Grass like 16,000 feet tall. That was because there was somebody there who didn't know how to take care of the place, to take care of something like that. And that's why it ended up like that. He put a lot of money into that place. I mean, a lot of money. But he didn't get no returns out of it because of the type of people that was in there. Couldn't take care of it. So it's not good to do that all the time. So that guy was talking about substandard work, blah, 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 blah. I said, this guy just don't get it. I don't know what type of landlord he is or where he's... Uh, where he has property at. But 
I'm thinking like this. Yeah, if you got a nice place, if you have a really nice place, oh my God, I just seen something. I'm gonna go back and look at this house in a minute. If you got a really nice place, a really nice area, and you're trying to get a certain type of renter, you can do certain things. And some of the neighborhoods like these neighborhoods look around here, you don't put hundreds of thousand dollars in neighborhoods like this. You just don't for rental. You don't. You don't. Why would you do that? And you know, you got a house like that on the corner. Wait a bro. What you stand there for? Why don't I pull over here? So you got a house like that. Why would you put hundreds of thousands of dollars in a property next door if you got a property like that? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. You can't do it. Now, if you're going into, like, Farmington, hey, brother, hey, if you're going into, like, Farmington Hills, um, uh, Oak Park, Royal Oak, places like that where you can, where you're trying to get $1,100, $1,200, $1,400 a month, then sure, then sure, you spend that, that good dollar on a property like that because it's a nice property. The property values are still high, and you're gonna get a certain type of renter. You're gonna get a working, working, a working type of renter who can afford to be there. I got a place in uh, Oak Park right now. The guy is paying fourteen hundred dollars a month, and I get it on time for the last three years, no problem. This is my property here, and we got Sam and Bill cleaning the place out. Working. Yeah, that's just a little preview of the Shay Show. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because <clears throat> I know I talked about it in the previous video. Just so you understood, um, you know, what type of work he does. And uh, if anybody's interested in rehab shows, um, the Shay Show is what I rec would recommend. On one of the shows I recommend off YouTube. Um, thanks for watching.